Hey guys, uh, it's Daniel here from thecellularguru.com and today I wanted to show you a quick overview of the uh, Kobo e-reader beta that's just been released for Android. Uh, this has been uh, available for uh, iPhone and uh, Blackberry OS for a while now but uh, it has just been released so I wanted to take you through it. So when you get into the app, you see the uh, I'm reading list, and this is just a list of uh, everything that you've purchased on the store. Now, the store is uh, available through the uh, app itself, which is different from the Kindle, which uh, does not let you download apps, uh, sorry, books right through the, the app. So you can see I have the Global Mail bestseller here. I want to download a book, scroll to it, click on it. You can preview it. So get preview. And as you can see, it will download. And you can see here the notification. Go to your reading list, and there it is. Very, very quick. Um, it's got some nice. Uh, touch features, touch in the middle for uh, scrolling through the book and right now no thanks and then you just tap on the right side of the screen to go next and that's, that's all I got, wow not very generous okay well let me show you one of the books that I actually have bought so uh, there are hundreds of free books in uh, the Kobo bookstore, ones that are out of copyright. So we got The Secret Agent by Joseph Conrad. Here we can double click, we can just click once on the screen and scroll through the book. It's very, very fast. Uh, you can click on the uh, notif notification button and you can get font size, change that all the way up to largest which is huge. There are three font types serif, sans serif, and monospace. Uh, I think serif's a bit easier to read and then the monospace I don't know why anybody would want to read that. Um, and then just tap on the right side of the screen to go to the next page left side of the screen to go back very easy on the uh, display um, on the Nexus One display it is very very clear much more clear than the iPhone but that will obviously be surpassed by the new iPhone when it's, when it's released it also has a nighttime viewing option uh, let's go back to smallest so it's very comfortable to read uh, the store is uh, extremely user friendly and uh, even though prices of ebooks have gone up in the recent weeks uh, it's still not too expensive between $9.99 and $14.99 for a book you can browse by category and They've got quite a good selection. I don't know the uh, selection compared to the Kindle bookstore because uh, Canadians don't really have the same selection as US. Um, but as you can see, most of the popular books are here. You got Dan Brown, which apparently the iBook store even doesn't have. Uh, you got Twilight, lots of Twilight. And you got some cheapies too. Uh, 359 and the more expensive ones like Malcolm Gladwell the ones that are still in hardcover are going to be about 15 bucks so as you can see um, lots of selection lots of free books and uh, a very very comfortable reading experience so that is a quick overview of the Kobo uh, e-reader app for the uh, Android platform and uh, it'll be coming out for everybody very soon. 
Thanks for watching.